Hello and welcome to my Mana Reaction Channel to One Punch Man Season 2 Episode 4 And yes, as you can see, I am in Mount Inari right now and descending the mountain And yes, I made it to the top of Mount Inari after a long time coming And yes, again, sorry about lack of videos being uploaded, but well, reaction videos Because like, you know, moving to a new channel is not easy And starting from fresh is a pain in the ass, but it needs to be done since, you know, YouTube being a dick to me again So let's just say, sorry about this lack of reaction videos this past few um, days and so so right now we can get back to one punch man so let me just get to a uh, like flat land whoa much better so yeah let's see what happened from last week episode well let's just say Garo went on a rampage as Rangiro couldn't defeat him even that big ass buffy guy is going to defeat him I mean he's quite a skilled fighter and then you know Saitama is showing who's boss by you know Karachi chopping the end but you know in the end Saitama is being persuaded to attend this sort of, some sort of tournament some fighting tournament so yeah now he bought himself a wig and now he's taking part in the tournament which he pretty much gonna win so yeah looking forward to see how he's gonna adapt to this tournament so might as well finish on my climbing of Mount Inari and let's head back to my room so let's get started shall we Okay, we're precision and let's get started, shall we? Oh, okay, let's see what's our adventure host for Saitama and his uh, unusual wig today. And whether Garo looks for Saitama for revenge, we'll see in this episode. So here we go in 3, 2, 1, go! Hmm, what do we have here? A small TV. Oh, I think this is Garo's flashback. Oh yeah, I think this is Garo's flashback. Oh, he was supporting the villains. Oh, I can see where this, the roots of his uh, villainry, supporting the monsters. Oh, uh, so from the very start, he was supporting monsters. Oh wow, really man, Garo? Really man, Garo? <laughs> so he has a very twisted idea back in his childhood he was uh, he was against heroes and he wanted to support monsters wow okay and with his motivation he became what he is in this episode but he got defeated by Satama he's been taken to trash <laughs> he's thrown to trash Uh, hey, opening. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the full song for the opening is already available to, for download, so make sure you guys go and get it. Although the full song is not exactly that good compared to the old one, I prefer the first one, to be honest. So apparently Garo, when he was a child, he was against here. He wants monsters to win because they work hard to take down a city. Wow, Garo. So he has a quite a twisted um, philosophy back when he was a child. So that explains why he, he, he wants to kill all the heroes. Seriously. Man, I I want to, I, I think they should give me more um detail more like uh, content around Gaur's past so that they can I can show see why he wants to support monsters other than them working hard. There could be more reason to it of course, but there's not enough content to show why he wants to like become uh, a monster and want to slay heroes. And he say heroes have the lame theme songs. Really, man? Yeah. One punch. Well, his name he is pretty much everywhere now.
Mm -hmm. He changed next. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, battle indeed. <laughs> uh yeah, King is not actually a hero. He just there when things bad happened and he got the reward for himself. Guess it's uh, the metal bat's turn to shine in this episode. What? 10,000 yen? It, it costs less than 100. It can cost less than 200 yen, by the way. Uh, no, you're putting your plate at your area. Oh, these are like the. These are like stupid um, rich people. These are like stupid rich people. Yeah, dealing with those rich people? Okay. Oh yeah, sure, it's a serious mission. <laughs> oh... No, it's a monster. Ha ha ha! A street brat! <laughs> Super fighter. Well, at least he's being very honest. Pay first. <laughs> Aha! Satama and his ridiculous wig. Charanko. One punch. Some uh, it pretty much sums up his fighting style. One punch, <laughs> one punch. Basically, he's the strongest of all, all the contestants. If he actually bothers punching them with one punch. Okay, so I guess he's buying to Saitama's uh, lame di uh, disguise. <laughs> he did, by the way. No, he's he's quite stupid. Yeah, he's pretty stupid. Saitama is pretty much stupid. He went for him for help. Of course, he knows him. Well, this is going to be a long conversation, Saitama. Uh, you better start, uh, find a way to hide your face longer. Wolfman, huh? Okay, so I guess it's that's with Garo. Oh no, Saitama, if Saitama could find out he got this, he could get disqualified. Shit. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I know. You get banned. Strip of your qualification too. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he found out he's <sighs> safe indeed. Garo. Why am I not surprised at all? Why am I not surprised at all to be honest? <laughs> okay, better, better not hurt kid, Garo. Well, the guy that you karate chopped last night, so yeah, it is him. You karate chop. Oh, so we have more flashback to how Garo became what he is in this, in this season. A uh ho! Oh, okay. Regain confidence with a tournament. I mean, it works sometimes in real life. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be uh, Fang's top student because he's in Saitama in disguise and he's pretty much gonna win everything. Unless unfortunate thing happens, unfortunate situation happens and people find out his, his disguise and he's gonna lose all of it. Or you just pass it on into him. <laughs> and they're still talking, oh my god. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah, straight with the fact you actually you still quit in the end. <laughs> oh well said, Saitama. Being very realistic with your comments. Uh, it's a one day tournament uh, oh, okay I thought it's like a through two or three days at least of a one week tournament I don't I don't remember like a proper big tournament lasted one day though although it's a fighting competition oh no Wrestlemania is a one is a one day tournament too so yeah I, I, I see where this is going although I sort of saw this sort of be like a, like a two days or three day tournament I mean, he's the S rank hero. Of course, he'll be strong. Yeah, exactly. Senpai. Oh, so there's a bigger bug. Kohai Senpai Monster Center Pie That looks like something you see coming out of a horror show Monster Okay
Yeah, with a bat. I'm surprised you can defeat the monster with a bat. Although... He broke a rule. He broke... He literally broke the rule. Just to let you know, he actually broke the rule. And by the way, that's the stupidest dis the disguise ever, although it worked, so I I'm not gonna complain much longer. I'm surprised that dog guys that's around here, hero. Although I, I remember, I'm anime only, I don't read the manga, so I don't know what sort of secret power he has. Ha <laughs> ah, ha ha ha. He's just, he's just standby, waiting for enemies. Well, he found himself another prey to feed on, so yeah. Smash! Oh ho ho! Well, he's struggling, that's a fact. Oh wow, the typical villain style. <laughs> oh ho! Oh ho ho! Uh, what? Oh ho, hit himself on the head. Oh, okay, this is the, like a wake up call for him. Hey, hey, hey. He's pissed now. He's fucking pissed now. Uh, oh yeah, pump himself up by bleeding. Sure, why not? Ho ho ho! Oh, that was easy. Hey. <laughs> Maybe because of them, they did something to the monsters, that's why they were after them. Uh, C rank heroes. Uh, two years ago, guess there's a much bigger insect near it. Oh my god. Now that is a serpent. Dragon.
Oh my god, he literally is like fighting a dragon, man. This is literally fighting a dragon. He's like your final boss. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho <gasps> oh my god, now this is what I call One Punch Man, man. Epic background music to it, too. <sighs> oh, extreme style, huh? Ha 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 the dragon tumbling Well the the weakness always has to be the head though so yeah Undulation what Yeah something that I think that rich people did something to piss them off so yeah Oh, there it is. He is defeated. Oh, no, he's still persistent. Uh huh. This is not the time, man. Dude, Garo, man, he's a pro. He's gonna be a threat. Uh huh. Guess the fight's not completed. Well, that's a problem because he, now he has two problems: a uh, dragon level monster and Garo to deal with. Yeah, he need backup unless he want to die or stuff. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna get backup in the next episode. But for how long though? He gonna last? So a uh, dragon level centipede for, and then Garo. So yeah. What um the fight the the fight between the centipede was okay I guess oh, when the dragon level the dragon level uh, centipede appears that then that's when things start kicking and that's when things get better although the start the remaining episodes is pretty much talk 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 I mean we get to know more about Garo's past well his childhood is pretty much not they put into a lot of context why he wants to support monsters other than them working so hard to defeat um heroes and heroes always get the 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 victory so yeah I mean at least put more content to it by the way in the manga did they explain more about Goro's past because I'm quite curious with his past other than him watching TV and stuff and of course he got bored with his training and that's why he beat everyone up and everyone left the academy and that's why Fang have no one to teach other than the one that Satama was disguising as so what's the post credit scene. Oh, is that kung fu guy from the visual art? The visual arts. I think he's. I think he's gonna gonna be the backup. Oh, so he's the like a handsome hero. Guess he's like the handsome hero for this series. 
so yeah, my thoughts on this episode is not bad. JC staff start to show signs of, you know, their animation being wacky and stuff. Although today's mostly conversation, so not, there's nothing much to uh, um, enjoy other than lo knowing more about the people's past. And also Saitama is going to need to win this tournament so that, you know, so that he can get famous and stuff. And also making sure that his disguise is not being, f being found out or else he'll, he'll get stripped of his qualification as a hero. And, you know, he, not, you know, he won't be a hero anymore. Well, that is some strict rules. And this one day tournament thing, I'm pretty sure I can I can see this last thing like quite quite quickly because Hero is gonna use all the all ultimate attack and just finish it off, and Saitama is gonna use one punch to finish all its opponents. So yeah, quite I um yeah today's episode is not bad I guess, but I can't wait to see the conclusion of the fight between the Centipede and Garo. So basically, it's a is a handicap for the Batman now. So he needs backup or he, he needs three he really needs backup, but. Who knows? We're gonna check out for the next week episode anyways. So hope you can enjoy my reaction today. Subscribe to my channel for reaction content, give it a like and enjoy my reaction, and I'll see you in the next reaction video coming up tonight. Janet.